What is up awesome people? And welcome to something a little bit different than what I usually do. And at the same time, uh, this is kind of pushing my boundaries a little bit. I'm actually in my, not in my comfort zone at the moment. Um, I don't usually do this type of thing. But we're doing um, live Wi-Fi battles. So I'm a little bit bored. And as you can probably tell, I'm a little bit lazy and used our stream life uh, layout. Because I could not be bothered making up my own again. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of going through and battling some passerbys live, and of course with face cam as well, because people keep asking for face cam, and I thought, oh no, look at that team, oh boy. Uh, so we got White, Karam, ho Charizard, Mega, uh, usually Y, Lugia, and Scumflame. Yay! Just what I wanted. Uh, yeah, that's not fun. Alright, so... This is most likely either a Talonflame or a Charizard lead. Oh, uh, goodness. Alright, I might leave a Zeb Streaker on this one. And see how we go there. Five versus six. Now, again, they're using Ubers. They've got, like, a big advantage against me. Um, of course, when you're using NU, it's a little bit hard. Alright, so let's see how I go on this one. I'm probably going to need a few things up. That white Chiram is probably going to be my biggest threat. That is quite strong. Wow, that special attack is massive for white Chiram. Oh, let's see what they lead with. I figured white Chiram. Well, that's Dragon Ice, so... Fire is neutral against it. That has Turbo Blaze, which works, I think, the same way as... Um... Yes, it works the same way as... Um... Mole Breaker, so that's not cool. I pin Power Grass, which is not going to do anything to it. I need a Dragon type to hit that. At the same time, I don't really want to switch anything into it. Uh, da -da 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 well, it's weaker stats, defense stat. It will most likely be a special attacker. Uh, this thing gets D Dance, doesn't it? No, it doesn't get D-Dance. That's interesting. Oh, boy. Um... You could always I predict and go for electric move, I suppose. And then again, what well, electric... That's more like Black Quarum. Oh, God. I haven't actually versed one of these before, so I don't really know what's going to go for. Might just go Overheat, because I know that's neutral. And I know I can do a bit of damage with it. Alright, so let's see. Overheat. Ooh, that did, like, very little. Ah. Huh. Well. Okay, so it goes for the Stone Edge. It's a physical user. That's very interesting. It didn't actually take out my Zev Streaker, so I'm going to go Volve Switch. I think he may go for another uh, Stone Edge here, hoping for, like, a crit or something, but that did very little for something like a White Karam. Right, so of course that's not going to do very much. And what is this song? It's pretty hardcore. Ah, it's a remix. Alright, so... We're going to Go-Go. -Go. Even if it does go for an ice move, go -Go is going to take that pretty well since it is my special defense wall. It should take a Stone Edge Hyper Beam. What is this? Um, Go-Go should take that, even though uh, White Karo has got monstrous special attack. Well, there you go. So I can get a free bulk up there as well. Alright. Oh, I was going to say, maybe it's going to be a DC. So that would be pretty sad. Alright, so it's got to recharge, of course. So I'm going for a bulk up here. And as I said, even if it does go for an ice move, I can take that pretty well. Even if it throws a blizzard at me, I can take that. Unless I get frozen, then that's another story. So I'm just going for a milk drink here, uh, in case it does go for a blizzard and it, I do take it pretty badly. Flash cannon! Okay, interesting. Well, that's not going to do anything. Right, I can't get a read on this because when you have an unpredictable opponent like this, it's just so hard to predict. Usually, that's carrying like blizzard, draco meteor, uh, earth power because it is a tutor. They are going to withdraw there. Uh, probably going to ho -O. Yeah. Well, oh, look, it's a shiny one. Ho-Oh 
has regenerator, it's got pressure as well. I don't think I have pressure because that didn't come up on the screen. Alright, so this seems most likely sacrifice. It can be banded. Uh, well, I'm definitely predicting like a fire move there, so I'm going to go into tough lotion just to take that. Uh, as I said, most likely sacred fire coming my way. Go go, it's not going to like that at all. Flamethrower. Well, it's going to do not very much there to tough lotion. And what exactly can tough lotion do? Pretty sure it's Tin Power Grass. Uh, Hello Special Defense is monstrous too. Damn. Um, might go Flamethrower. It's probably the best I can do there. I don't want to switch in anything else. Plus I might be able... Oh, I can't burn it. I, I might be able to burn it. Alright, so that did very little. It's got Psychic. Alright, it's a Mix Attacker. And my special defense fell. That's awesome. I honestly need a free switch. Uh, it doesn't get any electric moves, does it? It does, but what's the chance of it using it? Am I going to my Fralligator? I said, I kind of need a free switch. I do have something in mind, but I don't really want to lose any of my Pokemon either. Oh, they're going to withdraw. Well, that's interesting. Into, I have no idea what. Oh, not this thing. This thing is so bulky. Um, well, they both can have regenerator, which is... Uh, sorry, this has got multi-scale, so that's really annoying. Ha, uh, then again, this thing's monstrous in special defense and defense in some ways. I can always get a D-dance off. Try and boost my attack on this thing. If I'm lucky, I may even get my lychee berry off on this as well. Aeroblast to be expected there. Well, that did a hunk of damage there. That's about a four hit KO, I reckon. I always get up another D-dance and try and just get some damage onto it. I know Zeb Streak, it can out, uh, outspeed this and just go discharge, unless they do switch into uh, Chiron Hyper Beam. Well, I think I might be dead. Or, no, you're kidding, I'm outside of um, Leechy Berry activating. Well, that's annoying as all hell. It's going straight for the Ice Punch here. I could be able to freeze it if I'm lucky. Hey, that did a nice hunk of damage, even though it's got multi scale. What is this? Citrus Berry. Well, it's a kill. And I can outspeed it to next turn as well. So, if he does switch, whatever's going to switch in is not going to like an Ice Punch. Well, that's dead. It must have had pressure, but I didn't see it kick in. Because that first one was quite strong. Unless it's very weird EVs. Right, well that's one Pokemon down. Out next is Ho-Oh. Well, ho this Ho-Oh is not outspeeding me, that's for sure. And something's telling me it's got Thunderbolts. Otherwise, why would you switching a Fire-type to a Feraligator? Well, this should be dead, unless it's got a Focus Sash. Alright, that's dead. Well, this could be a Feraligator sweep, but I don't know if Feraligator can take out... Oh wait, I might be able to. Maybe. That Chiron is still a problem, though. Right, so Chiron is coming back in. Dragon Ice. What to do on this one? Uh, that annoying typing. Actually, I might go there. I'm pretty sure that should be neutral. Bam! Oh, what are you holding? Citrus Berry. Wow, this thing must be pretty tanky. And I avoided! Yay! Oh, bugger it. Let's go for another Ice Punch. Let's go rid of its Citrus Berry. Even if I just whack some damage into it. And just KO a revenge kill it. That's probably the best I can do. Oh, I killed it. 
Wow, I don't think I did that much damage on the first go, unless I got, like, absolute min or something. Whoa, that's, like, weird writing. Oh, it's Charizard. Well, most likely Charizard Y. Let's go Waterfall. That Nick, that's Charizard X. Well, that was a bad prediction. Because Waterfall is not, uh, sorry, it's Dragon Fire, isn't it? That should be a neutral. Unless it's Dragon Flying. Pretty sure it's Dragon Fire. No, it's Dragon Flying. I'm pretty, no, it is Dragon Fire, because Dragon Flying I don't think is neutral at all. I am so confused. Let's see if I can bring it up. Uh, it's Talonflame. Yay, I don't carry Aquagen on this either. Oh, I can't bring it up. Well, that's fun. Unless it's fla it's flame bo it's flame body. The hell? Well, you're dead. Do you have any other Pokemon left? I don't think he did. I think that's game. Yeah, it is. Well, that was easy. Well, that's what happens when you put uh, completely random EVs onto legendaries. Uh, as I will, as I admitted, that was a pretty hard battle to predict because I don't think that person knew uh, what competitive battle was at all, but that was fun regardless. Uh, good old Pharrell of that Gator there. Alright, let's go find another battle. So there's a good chance I'm probably going to have to do a big cut here because that took me about 15 minutes to find that battle, so I shall probably see you guys when I find another battle. Alright, so we're back after about, oh, I reckon that was about 10 to 15 minutes of looking. My goodness. Um, also, I had to fight through, uh, I don't know if, if anyone else gets this, but after you beat, um, I don't really want to say the N word. That's pretty, I don't like calling people that word, but, um, beginners to the game, um, they always want to trade you Pokemon afterwards, so I kept having that guy that I battled um, beforehand um, keep wanting a trade with me, so every time I was looking for a battle I get interrupted by a trade request, so it was a little bit annoying. But I finally found a battle, this one's up against Stella. I've got no idea where they're from, I've just been clicking names and hoping for the best. Waiting for preparations to complete- Hey, you're kidding me! There's been a problem with the battle and it's been cancelled. Great, you really? I gotta go look for another battle? That's not cool. No, I don't want to do anything else. Well, that's not cool. Back to looking again. Yes, found another one. That was pretty quick, actually. So, yes, I found another battle. Um, hopefully, I actually get into the battle this time. Oh my goodness, so many cuts are going to be made from this video. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Alright, so up against Christian. I think they were from Germany. Uh, so we'll go with that team again. Hopefully... Usually when they say 6v6, it's usually quite high tier, so I'm expecting high tier here. Probably gonna get my ass whooped. Money for preparations are complete. Yes, we're in. Welp, there's a Jirachi. And there's a Latias, Gyarados, Raikou, Landris, and Theorem form, Victini, Jirachi. Oh great, oh great. Oh goodness, who, does, who are they gonna leave with? It's gonna be Mega Gyarados. Uh, probably just leave with my usual lead. Well, my the biggest worries here is going to be Laos and Jirachi. Jirachi, Scarfed, Iron Head, it's going to be really annoying. <sighs> Victrini, yeah, I... This is going to be a very interesting battle. Well, let's see how I do. I can't really say it's going to be a quite an interesting battle because OU's um, I don't really know too much about now. I used to back and forth gen, but oh, Jirachi lead. Well, that's probably Scarfed U turn. Right, you're probably going to Raikou, most likely. But I am predicting. Whatever switches into that, it's probably not going to like. Even if it does stick in. Oh, it's staying in! Well, this is going to hurt. 
Well, it did stab to you, Kyo, if I was able to stick around, but not the case. I wonder if it goes for, like, Stealth Rock. I didn't know Jirachi learned Stealth Rock. Well, you learn something new every day. It's a utility, Jirachi. Well, it's a 5th Gen to move. Well, that now makes my life a little bit harder. Uh, Typhlosion's going to take quite a lot of damage switching in. Uh, I've probably got no other pokes that are quite weak to it, which is good. Alright, so I go into Go-Goat here. He's going to withdraw his Jirachi. Who would he go into? Victini. Alright. Victini. Now this thing's usually a special attacker. Psychic fire. Uh, I'll most likely go for a, water, a fire type move. Hmm. Uh, it's usually V create. Uh, da, 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 da. V create's not special, is it? I can't even find V-Create. There it is, it's, uh, it's physical. Uh, if it's going for that, it's going to one-shot me. Uh, I might want to switch. Don't even want to risk it. That's a little too slice for this battle. That's better. Alright, let's go into my Freligator, see what it throws at me. I am going to hit by Stealth Rocks there. V yeah, that's right. Uh, it was a good move on my part to probably switch out because that would have one-shotted my Go-Goat. Definitely would have one-shotted it. And it does quite a lot of damage to my Feraligator. It does get a drop there in speed. Defense also falls and its special defense falls as well. Now Victini is pretty fast. Though its speed did fall as well. Hmm. Do I want to go for a D-Dance or want to go for a Waterfall? I'm going to risk it for a D-Dance, because I reckon he might switch there. He did switch, that was good. Alright, so I went for the D-Dance, which was lucky. And he goes into Raikou. Now, hopefully I did carry... It's shiny. Raikou is pretty fast as well, and it's a good special attacker too. Three, two, nine. it's speed is. Alright, let's go Earthquake. Right, I don't know if this is going to kill or not. Yes, it did. Right, well, that's annoying. Well, that's one annoying thing down, so that, um... He's kind of got nothing now to switch into my Zeb Streaker, which is awesome, so... Yes. Whew. Landris. It's got Intimidate, so it's going to get rid of my D-Dance. Well, my D-Dance attack boost, anyway. Alright, this thing... It's, I can't remember it. Well, actually, I've never actually looked at Thera and Fawn. It's quite a lot of attack, that's for sure. It might even be Scarf. I hope it's not. But let's go Waterfall. Alright, it's Scarf. Alright, doesn't kill me. I do get my Leechy Berry off, so I get the attack boost that I lost. So I'm back to plus one. Goes back. He'll probably go into Laddie... Os, predicting the waterfall there, most likely. Gyarados. And there goes my Lichy Berry. Well, I'm back to neutral. Le I would have been at, like, negative two if I didn't have that D-Dance or that um, Lichy Berry. I still did a good amount of damage. It will most likely Mega Revolve as well. I'll go Water Dark after that, too. Which means it loses its flying ability. Let's go that, because I know Waterfall's not going to do anything. Oh, well, he didn't Mega Evolve. Well, he can't really blame me for that prediction, because Mega is pretty usually common on Gyarados, so... 
Unless it is Mega, it just held back. Let's go Zeb Streaker. It doesn't have Moxie though, I had Intimidate, so that's a good thing, I suppose. So unfortunately, Stealth Rocks does dig into me. It doesn't do that much damage. Alright, I could always Volt Switch, because he can always go for Earthquake. And then go into... Skeptile or Go-Go. Might actually do that, playing it really safe. In case he does Mega. Now he's going to withdraw. And go into F and Landris. Now this thing is Scarfed as well. Probably thinking there I was also um, a Physical Sweeper as well, which I'm not. Okay, this thing's Scarfed, which is so annoying. Um, let's go into Skeptile. I know Skeptile can take at least uh, one Earthquake. It's just that problem there of U-turn as well. But it is Scarfed, as I noticed, so he will have to switch out. Earthquake, yep. Skeptile should take this reasonably well. I said reasonably, not well. <laughs> uh, okay, so Citrus Berry there kicks in. I do get the Unburden boost. He may switch here as well. I go Rock Slide, because I know that is... Uh, he may... Predict, yeah, he may predict a Leaf Blade there and switch out. Probably go into something to take that. Victina. I went Rock Slide, luckily. I hit. Yes, so that should do a decent amount of damage. Or not. Well, that's a bulky Victini. Very interesting. Let's go Earthquake, then. Well, thanks to that Unburden boost, I definitely get to outspeed it. And I killed it, which is awesome. Oh, I got a crit! Well, that definitely mattered. Because I don't think that much in boost, pa uh, that much difference in attack would have made that much of a difference. But it, uh, crit definitely does. Alright, back into Landris. Going to lower my attack. Which is good on his part. He probably will go for the U-turn here, so I can at least go for a Leaf Blade. Do a little bit of damage to him. I may even get a crit if I'm lucky enough. Well then, oh okay, it's neutral thanks to that flying type. That is going to kill me, but I do get the advantage because I get to see what he switches into. Crit. Didn't matter. Unnecessary crit for the win there. It goes back, um, of course, the U-turn kicks in first before I switch, so I get to see what he's swapping into, then go for a counter there. That Landris is going to be a big problem, though. Okay. I might be able to force a switch out of him. Unfortunately, that Stealth Rocks is going to wear me down. Alright, so if he goes into Landris again... It actually doesn't have that much special defense. Alright, so he's going to withdraw. Which is exactly, exactly what I predicted. He go into Landorus predicting a discharge or a volt switch. But that's not the case this time. And plus, I'm not a, phys uh, I'm not a physical sweeper either. So, cop this! Well, that did a decent amount of damage. It probably did more than what Hidden Power would have done, that's for sure. Nice, it's going to go go. I am slowly wearing down that Landris, that's a good thing. Right, into go go. We'll probably go for the earthquake there. Yeah. Alright, so he's, he is locked into that. Right, that did a hell of a crit too, damn it. Really, he's gonna have to switch. So try and get some health back here too. Alright, it's gonna go into Latios. Well, that's usually a special attacker. So at least I can get my health back there. Uh, Latios. Right, well it could be Spexed. 
I get most of my health back, which is what I need, because this thing can pack a nasty punch. I'm hoping it's, even if it's carrying ice beam, that shouldn't really kill me. It's got levitate. Hmm. I was going to Horn Leech, I suppose. His defense isn't all that good either, Draco Meteor, as I thought. So it could be Specs. I should take this reasonably well. I mean, Gogo is a monster. Ouch. That did a lot of, a lot of damage. And it's Life Orbed as well, so it's not Specs. I think Specs would have killed me, actually. Alright, so I, I get a, a little bit of health back there. Um, it is at negative two special attack though. So he may probably have to switch because I don't think anything's going to kill me at that range. Maybe he did a little bit more damage he may have been able to if I wasn't carrying... It's going for another Draco Meteor. Okay, I don't think that's going to kill. Even with Stab, but at negative two special? Nah, no way. Now at negative four. He is losing life orb there. I probably would have switched personally. Um, since Go Go does have a lot of health and massive special defense, and it is my um, dedicated special defense wall as well. So sweet, thank you, Go Go, for being the absolute beast you are. No wonder I like you so much. Um, what to do from there? Bulk up, because he's most likely going to switch. I would not stay in at negative four special. Nobody would. All right, he's going to go back. Freak, I forgot this thing existed still. This thing's most likely got toxic. Alright, this thing is like amazing all around, so... Uh, since it is a utility set with stealth... Uh, stealth Rock was there, it's most likely got toxic. Or Thunder Wave, or something to really knock me around. I'm hoping it's just not T-Wave Iron Head, because then that's annoying. Because then you can just do that all day long. That's interesting. Damn it! I should have gone for another bulk up. I honestly just expected a toxic there, but no, he just did that so he can get a freaking Landris in, couldn't he? Well, he's just going to go straight for U turn. Uh, I kind of need my go go for. Um, Damn it. Uh, I don't know what to do. Actually, I might, I might have to burn Typhlosion here. <sighs> because Stealth Rock on the field, Typhlosion does not like that at all. And I know that Landorus is going for a U-turn. So, I think that might be Typhlosion dead. Or not. Sorry, I just thought with that monstrous attack, it might have done a little bit more than that. And plus, my Eruption is kind of dead. Alright, so he'll probably go straight back into, right, into Gyarados. Unfortunately, I've got nothing to hit this. I know it does have... Uh, rats. Rats on a boomstick. Hmm. Might just go Focus Blast. So far, it hasn't revealed that it's a Mega yet, so... I'm just going to do this. I just want to deal a little bit of damage to it. Oh, that did quite a lot of damage. That was a crit, that's why. So, it's a substitute. It can't go for substitute. Yes! I'm Spexed, unfortunately, so I'm locked into Focus Blast. So, no substitute this day was ever seen. Haha. -ha. Awesome. Thank thank you so much, Tarflosion. You are freaking awesome. Alright, it's going to Latios. Oh, Focus Miss actually hit twice. God damn it. Go to Flosion. You beast. Well, I'm actually going to stay in because I'd rather he lose a special there and knock out my Typhlosion. And get life orb damage as well. Just switching my Go Goat as well. Right, so that may have been at a cost, but unfortunately I can't keep switching Typhlosion in thanks to Stealth Rock, so. I'd rather he go down and Latias take a little bit of damage. Now let's see what this is going to do because most of his Pokemon are already badly in it, in, blah, 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 damaged except for his Jirachi. 
Oh shit, my stealth rock. I. I. Ah, well. <laughs> hmm. What if I can set up a D dance? Well, he kind of disproved the point to me before that he didn't switch out at a negative two, but I think I might be dead. Nah. I was kind of hoping he'd swap, but he didn't. And again, he's at, uh, at negative four, so he's forced to switch. I could always take advantage of this. Alright, Zeb Streaker, don't fail me now. Alright, so let's go for Hidden Power here, because I know Landris will swap into this. Alright, so this annoying thing is coming back in. Hopefully I do a decent amount of damage to it, and it's about a two-hit KO. Hopefully not. Come on, Zeb Streaker, you are awesome! You can do this! No, unfortunately not. Well, it's going to outspeed me, unfortunately. Okay, went for U-turn. Rats. Maybe I shouldn't have sacrificed my Pokemon like I did. Because he's still got that annoying Jirachi left. Alright, this annoying thing. And I've only got my Go Goat left, so rats. I'm still interested to see what this Jirachi got. I still reckon it's got Toxic on it. So I'm gonna go for a bulk up here. It's got U turn as well. Ouch, that did quite a lot of damage. Right, I think this might be GG. Right, it's going to Latius. And I know how much this does already with Max. Alright. Unfortunately, I don't think that's going to be enough to be able to take a Latias' Draco Meteor. It's got hidden power. What's it got? Oh, I just lived! Ow! He was probably just better off going for the Dracor Meteor. So I get a free milk drink up there. Right. I have to go for another milk drink here because I know uh, one more life orb damage is going to kill it or we can swap. Okay, go, go. Come on, go, go. You're awesome. You can live this. Oh, you just lived, you beast! Oh! I don't care if I lose now. Go, go, you beast! Oh, goodness. So it's better. It's gonna probably be about a 2 0, I reckon. Woo! Well, Go Go's definitely my most valuable player this battle. Um. I honestly say, I cannot be more happier than how this battle's turned out. Oh, this will probably just go for the U-turn. Oh, it's got three Pokemon left. Bugger. I thought it was a two. Two zero. But I think that's going to take me out. Landris is most likely adamant. It's got quite a lot of... Oh, I lived! That bulk up made a huge difference. Who's he got left? He's got Jirachi left. Landris, and who's his last poke? Oh, well this is really annoying because I, I can keep getting intimidated too. I'm predicting a U-turn. Yep, he'll go into Landris.
Alright, so that's gone. Come on, go in Landris. Gyarados. Shit! Oh, this thing. So it's got two intimidating Pokemon. Well, that's not going to kill. Oh, it did kill! Holy crap! Go, go, you beast! At negative one, it still took it out. Well, I'm pretty happy with this performance. I don't really know if I'm going to be able to get any closer than what I have, because I don't think I'm going to take out Landris from that range either. I mean, I know it's going to go for a U-turn there. And then go into... It's got knockoff. Shit! It will have to swap, though. But I did go for a milk drink, luckily. Well, I just lost my freaking... I lost my leftovers, which is annoying. I am going to go for a bulk up there, predicting the swap. And back into this a thing. Right, I think I'm like negative two or something. So as long as I keep bulking up my defense, I should be able to take whatever the hell these two Pokemon keeps throwing at me, unless I get a crit, which is gonna be so annoying. Iron Head, I thought you might carry that. Oh no, oh no, don't you dare play that game with me. That's so annoying. Not this game, I hate this game. Right, you turn. Well, I thought they were going to play that annoying Iron Head game. Ugh, oh, I can't take that. Okay, back into Landris. Gonna try and lower my uh, attack again. The, the, ultimately, I am going to raise my defense. Because I know then I can probably take that and then, unless they crit me, that's about the only thing that's actually going against me at the moment is the chances of a, def uh, a crit. If once that crit happens, I'm dead. Alright, come on, go, go, go. You're my beast. You're my beast. Yes, this is why you're my beast. I probably have to start attacking now because I can't play keep up this game for much longer. And plus U-Turn has quite a lot of PP to 20. GoGo -Go is doing absolutely awesome though. Alright, what are they going to do now? Come on, make you move. If you DC on me now... Uh, here we go, they're going to go for the Iron Head spam again. Oh, that's a crit! God damn it! Oh, oh, oh. oh man, I knew that was coming sooner or later. Well, that was really unlucky. Now, come on, go, go. You should be able to live this. Oh, oh God, go, go. Oh, go, go. I'm loving you even more at the moment. Like, oh, man. He's doing really well to stick around this far into the game. My poor go, go's been beaten, abused. Oh. Man, I can't believe I've got to resort to this to try and get some chance of winning this game. I mean, once I'm in a PP on Milk Drink, it is kind of game for me. I mean, I'm in such a really tight predicament. I'm between a hard wall and a stone. The fact that I mean, this keep going all day as well, so... What I've got to ultimately try and do is predict a U-turn happening from Jirachi. And see if I can do that. As, so as, soon as, as, as long as I can stop that U-turn momentum... I should be able to get ahead. 
I should have done that ages ago, honestly, but I didn't think I was going to last this long in the battle. Once that Landorus is gone, I should be fine. Right, it's going for a body slam. Oh man, Parahax is going to be for real now. Well. Well, this is going to be quite fun. Maybe I just keep spamming Horn Leech. I might get lucky and I might go for a U turn. Or not. He's probably going to try and get a Parahax on me. Although this damage is like. Bleh. At least I know it's four moves at least. Uh, okay. Honestly, during those two times, I probably should have gone for bulk up. Alright, now it's spamming Iron Head. Oh, God. And the sad thing is, I'm not getting lefties either. Alright, it's trying the body slam again. Ah, uh, eventually had to come. Ah, oh, great. God, this has been a very long battle. Alright, going for the Iron Head spam again. So, Para and Flinch going against me as well. So, if I'm lucky to get past this. I actually got past an Iron Head, which is amazing. I don't really want to go for... Yeah, he's probably just going to spam um, Iron Heads here. And Flinch me. Whew! What a dirty way to win. God, I'm probably going to flinch to death here. This is going to be awesome. It's going to be fun. Right, finally got past it. Right, more iron heads. Right, got a milk drink off. There has to be a Parahax coming eventually. Yes, he went for U turn. Now, if I don't get Para, I'm fine. Right. Come on, go, Goat! May the luck of Arceus be on you! Come on! Come on! Come on! Let's go, go, go! Let's go, go, go! Let's go, go, go! Let's go! Come on! Come on! Go, go! Let's go! Yes! Yes! Ha ha! I might be able to turn this around. One zero! Ha ha! All right. Alright, go go, this is your time to shine! You have shined so much in this battle, go go! Oh god, para. Great. Unfortunately, now I'm forced against even a tighter spot. This freaking flinch and para. I may be our lucky and just stall this out. But go go has done so well. Oh man, I have now got absolutely high respect now for Gogo. If Gogo can get up a few more bulk ups, I can then go for Earthquake. And Iron Head should eventually just end. And since I already started like a big disadvantage, well, disadvantage thanks to all that U turning earlier on, Iron Head, I can't even find Iron Head on this list. 15 PP. There's a good chance though it's got like max PP on it. Right, it's trying for U-turn. There might be a good chance it's already run out of iron heads. It still has body slam. And I still have this annoying para to worry about. So I want to try and get up another bulk up up and then go for an earthquake. I don't oh he's still got iron head left. <sighs> if it gets a crit, I don't think even if it gets a crit, um, it's gonna all matter that much. 
I have four milk, uh, four PP left on milk drink as well. <laughs> Come on, go go! Come on, go go! You can do it! You can do it! The odds may be against you, go go, but you can do it! I fully believe in you! I believe in you, go go! My heart is in you! I, you can do this, go go! No! Oh, no, you're kidding me! I... You can do this, Goat Goat! No! Oh, oh, no, you're kidding me! Oh, no! Oh, you did well, Goat Goat! Oh, my goodness, that was just terrible luck there at the end. It had to come eventually, but I was hoping it happened on an iron head, not a U-turn. But unfortunately, that was an extremely close battle. Um, I might actually just save that one. Oh man, that was awesome. I actually did not expect that to be so close as it was. But holy crap, that was a really long battle. But go go, you are such a beast. I love you, I love you so much. I think I love you even more than what I did before I went into that battle. But yes, that is why Go Goat's mine of my favourite Pokemon. It's just so good of living, especially with the bulk ups. It's a good special defence wall. It, it lived a freaking Latios, a Latios with Life Orb, Draco Meteor, for God's sakes. I think even Specs may not have taken it out. Um, but that was just awesome. Let's change this. Ah! Change this message. Ah, I can't delete messages. Uh, GG. God, that was awesome. Maybe in a few dodgy spots there on my behalf, um, I probably could have done a little bit more damage, but as I said, I was a bit more worried about Landorus taking me out there, um, in, like, near the end of that battle too. And I was worried about that Jirachi having Toxic. But yeah, um, Iron Head Jirachi is such a pain to worry about. But anyways, um, I think that's gonna be it for this, uh, live part of, um, well, live episode, I suppose, but that was pretty cool. I didn't think I was going to do that well. I probably played like a noob, <laughs> but that was still pretty fun, I will admit. I'd had a lot of fun with that last battle, even though it was pretty, um, it wasn't actually in my court to begin with at all. It was OU versus NU. He had the advantage right from the start. There was some pretty powerful Pokemon, but <sighs> I, I will admit, I did, think I did pretty well there. But anyways, um, if you guys like this video so much, uh, make sure to leave a like and just let me know in the comments if you want to see more of these. Um, I'm happy to, to sit down when I've got a free chance and do this. Um, I'll even set up like a proper layout as well, as, as you probably noticed. I did borrow this from our live stream, which is why there's a lot of stream related stuff there. Um, and as I said, I usually only show myself on like webcam, um, only on what, le le live streams, which is probably why I'm a little bit... You know, a little bit uncomfortable if you haven't already noticed in front of a webcam. I don't do it all that much, and as I said, this isn't really in my comfort zone at all, but, um... Anyways, thank you so much for taking the time of your day to check out this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's something a little bit different, and if you like what you see, uh, make sure to stick around for future episodes, and make sure to check out my previous videos as well. Um, I do quite a lot, I do... Well, I'm trying to get back into Wi-Fi battles, as you can probably tell. Um, because the whole game's coming out as well. I do want to get back into Wi-Fi battling. I do am finding it quite enjoyable again as well. Um, but anyways, I've ranted on enough. I think you guys are sick of me ranting. Um, this is Lady Crimson saying, Ciao for now, but not forever. Ciao!